Hey guys! So a while ago I wrote a blog post on loopsky.com about threading as a hair removal method. Many people then requested me to do a video about it, so today I'm going to show you in movement how this works. So threading is a method that has been used to remove facial hair for centuries and centuries and it is a great way to remove facial hair in my opinion. Supposedly it is one of the least painful and least uh, harmful ways of removing facial hair. So essentially as the word suggests, threading is literally removing facial hair with a thread. So I'm going to take a piece of cotton thread here. This is just um, the same stuff you use for sewing. I'm going to remove some facial hair for you today <laughs> to demonstrate how this works. So what you want to do is make a loop about this large. So I'm going to cut my thread there and then I'm going to tie these ends together. Okay, now you've got your loop. Take it like this and then twist one hand around and we're going to make a spiral in the center here. So just do about four or five twists and then when you hold your hands like this you will notice that when you open one side of your hand the spiral moves um, along this loop of thread and this spiral moving is actually what is going to rip out your facial hair. I know this sounds <laughs> really violent and disgusting but really this is pretty much what happens when you use an epilator on your legs or armpits or whatever you use an epilator. Just inside an epilator this will be, have been made of metal and now we are using a cotton thread. As this spiral progresses over your skin the little hairs will get caught in it and as it moves on um, the hair will be taken by the spiral and ripped out. And that is how the facial hair is removed in this hair removal method. So just like plucking with tweezers and uh, waxing, it will take a while for your hair to return since you are pulling it out in its entirety and not just shaving it off at the top of your skin. So this is a pretty durable hair removal method. As any hair removal method that pulls the hair out of your skin, this does hurt a little bit. I will be completely honest with you, when you start to do it, it will hurt a lot, <laughs> just like plucking your eyebrows. Uh, it hurts in the beginning, but once you get used to it, you get over the pain. I would say though that threading is a little bit less painful than plucking with tweezers because First of all, you're not taking out all the hairs individually, you take out a couple of them in one go so it doesn't take as long. It's also less painful than waxing because waxing actually takes off a layer of your skin when you rip off the wax uh, along with the hair. So it is also a lot less irritating to the skin than waxing is. And one additional bonus that you get with um, threading is that as the thread moves along your skin, the hairs are pulled but the pressure of the thread on the skin kind of massages the skin and makes it a little bit less painful. So now that we've got our little threading tool here, I'm going to move you a little bit closer and do a little demonstration of how you can use this to remove facial hair. I'm not going to come too close because in all honesty this is a little bit gross to look at, but you should be able to see um, the process now. So. You can use this for all your facial hair. Um, I generally use it on my eyebrows, especially the top of my eyebrows and uh, my upper lip. For my eyebrows, the way, or for your eyebrows, the way you can use this is you just align the thread with the shape of your eyebrow or the shape that you want your eyebrow to be and then you pull at it. Now, um, opinions vary on the direction in which you should thread. Um, some people say against the growth of your hair, some people say with the growth of your hair. I found that it doesn't really matter, um, both work just as well. But you can kind of see what is happening now and how this is pulling out my hair. So the biggest advantage of threading is that it makes a beautiful straight line. As you can see. So you can do the exact same thing on the bottom. Again, just align the thread to the shape of your eyebrow and pull. I don't have a lot of hair on the bottom of my eyebrow right now because I did pluck it this morning but just for demonstration purposes. Now you want to be a little bit more careful when you are threading underneath your eyebrow because the skin is very soft and delicate there and um, if you start to pull or if you notice that your skin gets caught in the little spring, just stop, let go. Okay, so for my upper lip, pretty much the process is the same. Um, just now you don't need to align it because, I mean, your upper lip is pretty big. So what I do like to do is pull the skin as tight as possible. That helps with the pain management, I find. So I pull a weird face when I do this.
So obviously it works on other parts of your face as well. You can use it right here if you have hair um, over here on the sides of your cheeks or um, on your temples. Just really anywhere where you have unwanted hair. And that's all there is to it. It takes a little bit of practice, but once you get it down, it is really easy to do and it is such a convenient method, I think, because you don't really need any tools, just a little piece of thread, which is really easy to come by. So I really hope you enjoyed this video, guys. I want to thank you so much for watching. If you did enjoy it, don't forget to give a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel for more beauty and hair videos, and I will see you very soon in my next video. Bye!